What's up, Frigate Chasers? I have a few quick updates for you that you will need to know if you are planning a trip to the Bahamas in 2021. Some of you may already be aware of these updates, as I am not exactly a breaking news reporter. Number one. The health visa requirements have changed slightly. Everyone still needs a health visa, but they have made it a lot easier for those who are fully vaccinated. According to www.bahamas.com backslash travel updates, and all links will be below by the way, under the departure and arrival tab is step one, testing requirements. Effective May 1st, 2021, visitors traveling to the Bahamas from other countries who are fully vaccinated and have passed the two-week immunity period will be exempt from COVID-19 testing requirements for entry and inter-island travel. There is a lot to read here, and I suggest you read through it all yourself and check every tab, including the during travel tab, on island experience, and failure to follow protocol tab. But let's attempt to sum it up. All travelers are required to apply for a Bahamas travel visa at travel.gov.bs. Fully vaccinated travelers will be required to upload valid proof of vaccination such as CDC or government issued vaccine records card in lieu of PCR test requirements. Fully vaccinated travelers will be exempt from on-island rapid antigen testing requirements for the duration of their stay and will not be required to complete a daily health questionnaire. But for all you unvaccinated travelers, unvaccinated travelers will still be required to upload a negative COVID-19 PCR test results. Tests must be taken no more than five days prior to the date of arrival. Unvaccinated travelers are still required to take the five-day rapid test on their fifth day in the Bahamas and every fifth day thereafter. Unvaccinated travelers are still expected to take the daily survey. However, if you're fully vaccinated and have passed your two-week immunity period, you no longer have to take the daily health questionnaire and you no longer have to get tested every five days. So awesome for you, you fully vaccinated sons of guns. Welcome to the Bahamas. Enjoy. Now, if you check the failure to follow protocol tab, you will see that they are taking this very seriously. In fact, there is a list of things that could be enforced ranging from denial of entry to quarantine in a government facility to $10,000 fine and two years imprisonment. I mean, if I had to be locked up, I guess the Bahamas would be okay, except I doubt there's AC, it would be very hot, and I'm guessing they wouldn't give you bug spray. So read it all, travelers. Don't F it up. Before we get too far into the video with the rest of the updates, I just want to take a second to say, hey guys, if you're getting anything out of this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Why? Because it's actually the best way to say thank you to your favorite creators on YouTube. Just hit that like, just like you do on Facebook or Instagram all the time. No big deal. Like it, like, like. The second big update for you all is about digital registration. Check out the Bahamas.com Getting Here tab. The Bahamas Customs prefer you to register and pay your fees online before arrival. They are calling it an electronic declaration. You can do so by using one of the cruising permit vendors. Let's check one out. At Go Outdoors Bahamas, you can either create an account and get started from your computer or download the app and do it from your phone. Or you can do it all the old-fashioned way by walking into customs the day of arrival with a stack of papers, passports, registrations, cash, or submit electronically and walk into customs with your pre-approved, prepaid registration copy. The choice is yours. I had the pleasure of chatting with a recent crosser earlier, and it appears that the CBP Roadmap is still all you need to check back into the U.S. The link for that will be below. We did have one question about pets. Yes, your pets can enjoy the Bahamas, but only certain breeds are allowed in. Check the link below for the pet permit application. 
Mr. Naughty Pants wants us to let you guys know that at Harbor Town Marina, to only use the two north ramps because the two south ramps have rocks and stuff like that in the channel that will chop up your props at low tide. Thank you, Mr. Naughty Pants. I know exactly what you're talking about. We actually ran into those rocks one time and it was not awesome. And Deplorable Dave says he has one correction for the Bahamas Bimini Crossing how-to video that was put out not too long ago. He says it's a Bahamas courtesy flag, you idiot. Not the Bimini courtesy flag. Sorry, Deplorable Dave. I'll try to get it right next time. Snowmobile 68 and a few others that have watched the channel have asked about camera equipment, you know, the long selfie stick and whether or not we use 360 cameras and whatever. Yes, we do use a 360 camera. Yes, we have very long selfie sticks. All of our camera gear will be in the links in all of our videos. So check them out, including this one. We'll put all the links. All the links will be below. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for another future update. I'll get them out to you as soon as I can and frig it out. <laughs>